a fungus among us. Right now, growing on our park grounds, we have this huge bundle of what we think are honey fungus. Now, I say think because I'm not a mycologist. A mycologist is somebody who studies mushrooms specifically. And if you're gonna go out and handle or collect wild mushrooms, it's best to be either an expert or consult with an expert because mushrooms often look similar to each other and you can never really tell which ones are dangerous. Now, just because I can't tell you exactly what kind of mushrooms these are, that doesn't mean I can't tell you what a mushroom is. Mushrooms are the visible part of fungi. Now, fungi are some of the most important organisms on Earth. Without them, ecosystems just wouldn't function the way that they do. One of fungi's biggest jobs is decomposition. Now, mushrooms break down dead plants, fallen trees, and organic waste, turning that material back into nutrients in the soil. Now, without mushrooms, for forests would start to fill up with huge amounts of debris. That's why these little decomposers are so important. Mushrooms also team up with plants through underground networks called mycorrhizae. These fungal networks connect plant roots and act like an extension of the root system. So the fungus helps the plant absorb things like water, nutrients, and phosphorus, and nitrogen, while the plant feeds the fungus sugars that it makes in photosynthesis. This partnership strengthens the forest and improves soil health for the whole ecosystem. Now, the scientists often actually refer to this as the wood wide web because of how the funguses connect to each other and the trees kind of like the internet connects people to each other. In short, mushrooms are nature's recyclers, connectors, and quiet supporters. And even though we may sparsely notice them, they're constantly working to keep ecosystems, including our urban ones, healthy and balanced. I encourage you to come check out some of the mushrooms we have out here on the park grounds of Sutter's Fort and the California State Indian Museum.